This video chart presentation of Delphi Energy Corp. Delphi trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange on ticker DEE. We kind of a channel play through here. See some good support down around a dollar thirty-five or so. Tough resistance level up around a dollar seventy. Stock pushed up five percent on Wednesday. Heavy volume day, five point six million shares traded. I checked a yearly chart, and that's the strongest volume day the chart has had in that time frame. So it's worth paying attention to to see if that volume surge is giving hints. This chart's going to finally try and take out this top. When I looked at that one-year chart, I also noticed a one-year high at $1.76. So that's just something to keep in mind with respect to these highs that were hit in recent months. That there's going to be a little bit more resistance up at those one-year highs. Right now, a nice climb off the bottom again and worth paying attention to. See if it's going to blow through this resistance that's been set up over the last few months. MACD, bullish cross in the ending part of November. Trending upward right now at that key point of trying to blow through zero. Put the chart in a more bullish position. Nice look to the slow stow. Holding over top of 50, showing that momentum is being sustained in the play. Real nice climb in the money flow index. Up near 80. The current price is much higher than average prices. Again, that's a bullish sign. Very strong climb off the bottom for the relative strength index. It's probably the most commonly used gauge of momentum. Holding over top of 50. Again, showing that the bulls are control of momentum right now. That's where I want to see it stay. A break back down through 50 shows the momentum's coming out of the play. And with it pushing on a resistance point, this is one of those times where I'd like to see the RSI up over top of 70 into what momentum traders call the power zone. Because again, it's a pretty strong resistance. I want to see as much momentum as possible behind this chart. Now with regards to support and resistance, I'm going to look for some support right here around $1.55. Not only is that a static support that held very firm in October and is trying to hold here in the short term at the end of November and into start of December, but you also notice this brown line, the 50-day moving average is right there. And of course, we always want to see the stock price over top of that 50-day. It's a much more bullish position. The resistance is going to start getting heavy right there around $1.68. Only one day back here in October did the chart push through that point, went up and touched $1.70. But before the closing bell, it slipped right back down below that resistance level. So that's the point I'm going to look for on Thursday and Friday to see if this chart's got enough behind it to take that out and close above that level. And I think at that point, as I mentioned, there's going to be more resistance up at $1.76 based on historic prices over the last year. But I think if this bullishness and the momentum and trend can continue, it'll take that level out and make itself a new 52-week high. Those are the type of things that I'll be looking for in the DEE chart. But as always, it's merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AllPennyStocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. And do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by AllPennyStocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.